I captured my first image of Interstellar Comet 3i Atlas. And with a smart telescope. How cool is that? Now I know it's a little smudge, but it's probably the coolest smudge I've ever captured. And in the coming weeks, as it gets further and further away from the sun, I expect we can get some better and better images since we won't be battling the sunrise so much. Also tonight, we have the full beaver supermoon. It's the brightest one of 2025, and I'm going to show you it through a large telescope. And also, I captured the shadow of one of Jupiter's largest moons going across the planet last night, and I want to share it with you. Let's go to the telescope and check out the moon. Hey, Luna, there is our full November moon. This is the beaver moon, and it is super, super bright outside tonight. Of course, we're going to zoom in. Now, if you look here on the bottom, you can see just a little bit on that edge left to wax over because the moment of full is at 819 AM Wednesday morning. However, the moon can appear full up to 24 hours before or after that moment of full. And there is a nice screenshot. All right, let's go to Jupiter. So there's a few lens flares, but we see three of the four Galilean moons. Where's the fourth one? I think there's an eclipse tonight. Watch as I zoom in. Hey, Jupiter, look at the eclipse. Can you see it? That is amazing. All right, guys, if you get the chance, get out. Check out the night sky. We'll see you soon.